Yo, what's up, guys? So today I'll be showing you a trick on how to add any custom shoes you get online to basically any character in Blender. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna get my model from Sketchfab. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for any shoe. I'm gonna go for Nike and make sure you click the downloadable option to get uh, any free model. So we're gonna be using a free model. Um, for, um, we're gonna get this model, yeah, this model right here. This model is by Fernando Caprio. It's free. And I'll put the description to the shoe down below in the description. So what you're gonna do is download the OBJ and then you have to extract it in a folder Go into the folder again and check if there's another zip file. So you're gonna extract that as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is open up Blender. I am using uh, Blender 4.1.1. So the first thing we wanna do is just set up a uh, like a background, you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a backdrop, uh, create a plane, uh, just extrude the sides and bevel the sides bevel the edge and just shade smooth just like that so next thing you want to import your character i got my character from reillusions Re iclone 8 so next thing i'm going to do is we're going to import the obj of the shoes that we downloaded yeah and you have to scale it down is um just scale it down make sure it fits the so we downloaded the shoe and it goes for the left side of the foot. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scale it accordingly. Make sure everything is okay. Just like that. Before we do the real editing in edit mode. So we're just gonna move it to the left a bit. Just like that. So next thing we're gonna wanna do is select the shoe and then hit tab to go into edit mode. And here we're gonna uh have to turn on proportional editing you can go up there and click it or press o shortcut is o and just move move it around until the mesh of the foot is hidden just like that i'm gonna move the tongue of the shoe forward just like that so we just keep doing it until you're satisfied also the front of the shoe is still kind of poking out so i'm gonna choose that yeah just like this you should make sure you're uh familiar with the shortcuts in blender and everything for this to work if you guys want a detailed um tutorial just let me know and i'll gladly do that for you uh but yeah for now i think everything is okay everything it looks good no mesh is poking through just rotate the image i mean rotate the view and yeah so next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna shift d to duplicate the shoe and uh, we're gonna mirror it in the x axis and move it to the other foot just like that we have uh, two of the shoes so i'm gonna move the our backdrop down just so we can see the whole shoe just like that so um next thing next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on uh the textured shading and we're gonna add a material to the backdrop so we can see the shoes properly so what i'm gonna go for is like a dark grayish backdrop so we can properly see the shoe for the next step that we're about to do so for this step, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna select the shoe. Uh, we're gonna attach the shoe to the body now. We're gonna transfer the weight. So what we're gonna do is, as you can see when I hit play, the shoe hasn't been attached yet. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna select the shoe first, then select the armature, and then we control P, and then we select with MT groups. So we're gonna do the same for the other shoe, control P, with empty groups so the next step we're gonna select deselect everything and select the mesh and then shift select the shoe then go to weight painting weights and then we scroll down to transfer weights 
So here on source layer, you have to choose by name. You have to change it from all layers to by name. So we go back to object mode, we select the mesh, we select the other shoe, go back to weight painting tab, and then we do the same. We go down to transfer weight, we check that it's on by name, and then we go back to object mode. So the next thing when we hit play, there we go. The shoe has been attached to the character with the automatic weight painting and everything. So yeah. That's it for today. Thank you guys.